I'm going to the gym for the first time in my entire life. It's hurting worse. I don't like this one. Ow! <laughs> I feel like a weakling. This is episode two of transforming myself into a gym girly. This is kind of the episode that I've been dreading and it's only the second one. I have been to my apartment gym before. I don't even know if you can call that a gym. Our gym apartment is so bad. Going to an actual gym today. I don't know why gyms are so scary. I've never been to one, but I'm still like really scared of them. I feel like everyone's gonna like look at you. And on top of everything, I am filming. And I know it's a thing where people really don't like it when people film in gyms. And instantly if you're filming in public, no matter what, you're kind of just thrown into the annoying group of people. Even if you're not being annoying, if someone sees you with a camera, they're gonna think you're annoying because you're filming in public. You know, it's just like a thing. And I try to be the least annoying person when filming in public. I try to keep it so low key and I try to go where there's like no people. I'm going to Equinox. You're not allowed to film like private sessions, which duh, that like makes sense. So hopefully I don't get in trouble, but I'm really nervous. One of the hardest things for me to figure out, and I think it's really hard for a lot of people to figure out, is their workout split like what you're gonna work out on specific days I have made my workout split and I have designated every single day of the week for something so right now Sundays are my rest day and every other day has a workout in it now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that like super duper quick we're gonna kind of ease our way into it so I don't just like give up really quickly because it's gonna be really freaking hard my split might change up a little bit I have to do the actual workouts first to see if I like certain things together and if I want that day to be after that day and blah, blah, blah. After I do it for like a week or two weeks, I'm gonna do an entire separate video on what my weekly routine is. Now that I have my split, I need to therefore figure out the workouts that I'm going to be doing on every single one of these days. Since I've never worked out, this is like a foreign language. I literally didn't even know what like this meant. Like I didn't know what a rep was. I didn't know what a set was. For some reason it confused me. I just felt so stupid. This stuff is so foreign to me. So it's like just difficult. And that's why I wanted to bring you guys along because I literally don't know what I'm doing at all. Honestly, Pinterest is my best friend. And just know if you're gonna be getting workouts from TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, take everything they say with a grain of salt. Go in the comment section and really see if this workout is good and they're doing it right and the form is right and all that because there's so much misinformation online, but there's also also a lot of things that are helpful. This is where a personal trainer could come in handy. They could walk you through all the workouts you should be doing, if your form is correct and stuff. And I do have a few personal trainer sessions with the gym membership that I got, but today I won't be doing that. I'm just gonna be going with my boyfriend because he knows the gym, he knows form. I sure as hell not going to the gym alone for the first time. That is absolutely terrifying. I think I'm gonna be doing glutes today and I know I'm gonna regret everything tomorrow and the next day after that because it's just gonna be very painful and I'm gonna be really really sore. All right, it's about time to go. I don't wanna go at all. I am so freaking nervous right now. Okay, let's go. I wanted to test out pre-workout. My boyfriend uses this brand so I just went for that one. I started off with like half a scoop, just a small amount because I have panic attacks. If you're completely new here, I have panic disorder. So I really don't wanna induce a panic attack with pre-workout. Pre-workout went great on the first day, but then the second time that I took it, my workout was great. But I did notice my heart pounding a lot. And then afterwards I had a panic attack and then that resulted into my heart heart pounding and chest aching for eight hours after I took the pre-workout. And I almost had to go to the emergency room, but I'm gonna be talking about that in another video. <laughs> not horrible. It's not like some, don't drink it yet. Mm, I thought I was supposed to. Mm. No, my bad, I don't know why this works. On our way to the gym. 
gym is only about a five minute drive away. So I sipped my pre-workout on the way there and then we both finished our pre together while sitting in the parking lot. I first started out by going on a stepper. <laughs> it's gonna be a really great angle of my ass. How do I get this to, do I just press this? I've never been on one of these, so I didn't really know what to expect. I've been on stairs before though. So, I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be that much different, but you, you know what I mean. I've heard that this is really good to go on before you do your glute or hamstring exercises because it kind of gets everything activated per se. This isn't that bad. Oh, it's hurting worse already. I spoke too soon. This hurts. I'm doing this for six to 10 minutes. And I'm already at five minutes. I'm freaking dying right now. This is way harder than I thought. And I'm only at a three. <laughs> The stepper absolutely killed my ass, but it's weirdly one of my favorite things to do now. Next workout is going to be hamstring curls. Something that really helped me was to watch my boyfriend do his set first so I could see exactly how you adjust everything on the machine, the correct form, how slow or fast you're supposed to go. Going to the gym with someone that kind of knows what they're doing is probably the thing that comforted me the most and made me less anxious. One, you just kind of have a bestie there, so you're not really going to be thinking about the people around you as much and if they're looking at you. And two, you have someone to look at you to correct your form in the beginning because doing the wrong form is going to prevent you from making the progress that you want and you can actually really hurt yourself. Pushing down and squeezing right oh. there. Is that too heavy? What do I squeeze? Go slow on the way back. You don't have to go that slow, but just make sure you're not letting it squeeze. How's that weight? Is it good or do you want to go up? That's good. Ow! <laughs> Good. First set, Tyler helped me with adjusting everything. Second set, I tried to figure it out for myself. Should I do all this before I sit? And then by the third set, excuse me, excuse me. This is every single time I do a voiceover. Okay, do you need attention? If you guys ever hear little purrs or meows in the background of my voiceovers, it's because of this guy. And then by the third set, I got the hang of it. You, take you, you don't even have to pull it's just right up there. It holds it right there, but then you can just go like that and add on five, and you go like that and add on another. Oh. When it gets up here, it goes up in like 15, so this way you can go up little by little. All right. One thing my boyfriend did a lot too was helping me to squeeze the right part of my body. So in this workout, you're supposed to squeeze your hamstring. So he would like poke my hamstring when I was doing the workout. And it did kind of make it easier for me to determine where to squeeze because at this moment, I have zero muscle. It's really hard to activate and squeeze those muscles when they're kind of non-existent. Three sets of 10 reps is my sweet spot at the moment. I want to get to four sets, but we are just starting out. I don't remember exactly how much weight I was doing. Totally didn't write it down or record it, but if you guys are interested in seeing that in the future, just let a girl know and I'll film it for you guys. thrusts and I'm really happy that this gym had a hip thrust machine because this is what all the TikTok girlies say grows their ass. I added 10 pounds to each side so I added 20 pounds because it wasn't heavy enough. Burns so bad. There's so many people. Everyone's been like nice and not staring though so here we go. I need to make a gym playlist really bad. This is really cute sped up because it kind of just looks like I'm humping the air really quickly. For the hip thruster, I did three sets of 12 reps and on the 12th one, I tried to do a few second hold and squeezed my cheeks. 12 and I'm gonna hold. Oh my God. That hurts my ass so bad. Oh my god, I don't know if we'll be able to stand. <laughs> should I do four? I don't know, I kind of feel like I should stop at three if I'm being completely honest. I'm gonna regret my life tomorrow. 
I forgot what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so nervous. It's out of frame so you guys can't see that I have two box block thingies on the floor so that one of my leg is going to be higher than the other and I'm going to be doing these things called reverse deficit lunges. So I just squat pretty much? That foot far enough back so your knee can go almost to the Yeah, you're just gonna squat four. Holy Oh boy. That hurts. Oh my god, okay. Go down away. I feel like a weakling. This was not successful. I think I'm a little too weak to do these still. I saw someone say that these were beginner friendly and they are liars. There's no way that beginners can do this shit, especially with weights. You have one foot on the block and one foot behind you and you bend and touch your knee to the ground, pretty much. I could barely get up and I kept going down and down and down and down and wait. That burns. <laughs> okay. Then put the weights down for a second, catch your breath, and then get ready for the other leg. Oh, that hurts way more than I thought it was. Crazy how a little movement like that can hurt that bad. I don't like this one. It works with stabilizing muscles too. Is it too heavy? I feel like I could barely do this, like with no weight. Because that still hurts so bad. I'm so out of shape, it's not even funny. I can barely do this with no weight. So this is definitely gonna be something that I have to work up to being able to do. <gasps> I just need to do it with no weight. I need to work up. Beginner my ass. I'll start, I'll start. On all of the Pinterest like beginner workouts, all the comments are like, this isn't beginner. They'll be like ripped, but then they're out of breath. I'm getting close to the end of the workout, but I'm gonna try to do RDLs because I heard those are really good. And I'm trying to get everything in so when I come back by myself, I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm not just like walking around all weird. RDLs. I have seen and heard about these things so much and wanted to test them out. I can go higher. Tyler went to go do her thing, so I'm doing this all on my own. So wow, it's way scarier when you're completely alone. I definitely started to feel the burn by the 10th one. And I'm gonna do four sets of 10. Like I was talking about earlier, having my boyfriend there helped a lot with knowing if I was doing the correct form or not. But if you don't have anybody to go with, obviously there's the personal trainer option as well, but that can be a little expensive. Filming a quick clip of yourself doing the workout can help so much because then you can really see if you're doing it correct or not and compare it side by side to a video of someone doing it correctly. There's no specific time in between sets that I like to wait. It's usually around a minute and 30 seconds, but it does depend on the exact exercise that I'm doing. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. It's honestly not a thing to overthink and you kind of just start doing your next set when you feel like your body is ready again. I got here at 2.49 and it's 4.10. It's not gonna take this long every single time. I think it's only taking this long because I have to literally learn how to use everything and like learn how I should do everything like my form and stuff. I think I'm gonna do one more of this one and then I'm gonna call it a day just because I'm literally so dead and my legs are jello. Great <gasps> workout has completely left the chat. I'm also like so hungry at the moment. Day one done. I was so tired. I've never had this feeling in my legs before. They felt like straight jelly when I was walking down the stairs out of the gym. I had to grip the railing because I felt like I was gonna fall. I got some salmon and rice after and there is also a side of curry cauliflower that I didn't film. I usually like to get some kind of protein in after a workout and I'm usually starving right after working out. And it's actually been helping me eat more because I'm not gonna a lie. I'll kind of just go throughout the day and forget to eat because I don't have an appetite, which is unhealthy for your body. Also unhealthy for your mental health because we need food to nourish our body and keep our brain functioning how it's supposed to. It is a little bit later and I am finally showered. I sweat way more than I thought I was going to, so I definitely had to wash my hair. For dinner, we got in and out and let's just recap a little bit about my first gym experience. I'm happy to say that the experience was not bad. I was very nervous. I tried to push myself but I didn't want to push myself like over the limit. There was a few other glute workouts that I wanted to do, but I know I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. I can already feel it.
You should tell him I had to help you get off the toilet. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that I went pee and I literally needed Tyler's help to get off the toilet because I couldn't stand up because my legs hurt so bad. So that's what he was talking about. Try and touch your toes. Oh no, I, I actually can't. Or show him a squat. I can't. Try it. I'll pick something Tr up. Try no. the squat. Let's see you I fall can't. over. It, you, I'm not gonna fall over, that's gonna hurt so bad. You can do whatever puts your mind. <laughs> Look at your dogs. That's like actually how I have to bend over. That you can't whip like me. Like, nope. This gym, thankfully, that I signed up for had all the machines that I wanted there. I had the Stairmaster, which burns, but I know is amazing. I'm so freaking happy that they had a hip thrust actual machine so I don't have to have the bar sitting here. I have many more ideas for this series. This series is far from over. If ever over. Make sure to subscribe if you would like to see a gym fitness clothing video, how I meal prep and what I eat in a week. And once I get my routine down a little bit, my week split of all my different workouts and just to come on this journey with me and to see me struggle. I've been posting on my Instagram story consistently pretty much every single day. Posting daily life stuff, but also a lot of gym stuff. Kind of sneak peeks to future gym videos and videos in general. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And okay, I'm done promoting myself. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. Like, no!